time to keep it fucking real, I tell ya. I just feel like there's been so much judgment flying around from so many people. And I really wanted to kind of get on here today and say that like the only reason that you will judge someone, the only reason that you will be triggered by someone is because there's something inside of you that wants something that they've got pretty much at its fucking core. And the judgments that you kind of throw at somebody, you know, like the only reason that you will judge, get defensive throw a fucking wall up is simply because there's something that the other person is saying is triggering you which means there's something that the other person is saying is hitting kind of core truth of you know like the reality of a situation and hey Tammy there's something you know going on that has you know ultimately triggered you know something inside of you and the only reason that we will judge someone or throw a wall up is because ultimately underneath like it's like there's two things there's something that we want and there's something that we you know are scared of at the same time yeah it's, it's this fear it's like you know we want what they've got so we will judge them and that's kind of like your calling card you know that's your that's your sign waving saying hey I fucking actually really fucking admire that and want that but we throw a wall up because there's a part of us that doesn't feel like we're good enough to have what they have um so I'm curious how how everyone's feeling today because I just personally feel like there's so much judgment being flown around at the moment and it's kind of like, you know, let's just keep it fucking real here. Let's just, you know, be be real about what's actually going on and, you know, it's like, you know, if you've got a judgment or, a, you know, it's kind of like you will speak to somebody. What is that? I'm getting that word covertly covert what does covert mean i'm hearing covert or advertedly or indirectly you know and it's like you know if you've got something to say to somebody just fucking say it (laughs) ultimately um you know because i know that part of my gift is being able to see what's underneath the table not just what's on the table and you know i pick that up very quickly and clearly um so you know if if there's things going on for you where you're feeling judgment for other people or if you find that you're judging other people you know let's let's just kind of like take a step back and go well hey hang on you know because if you are judging somebody you've ultimately you know got something going on for yourself right if you if you're judging someone there's something that you're you know pissed off about or it's you know something ultimately something that you're scared of or you want and usually it's both <laughs> because you know especially when I do readings it's like what comes up and what you're hoping for but what you're scared of there you're kind of like um, what is it like your best defense mechanisms in a sense of like there where your walls will come up because you want it but you're scared of it yeah and it's about kind of taking the responsibility and the um, what is it the actions I guess um, to kind of you know dig a little deeper and go well actually yeah, I really want that so what's my fear about stopping that um, you know, it's the same thing when we're pointing the finger, we've got three fingers pointing back at us. So let's see if there's something else that I'm supposed to say, cause I'm like, there's a pretty short fucking live stream. If that's all I meant to say, <laughs> um, jump on and just say that, but it does feel like there's so much, you know, judgment being flown around. Um, and when we can, you know, own our own judgments and, you know, look within, it's like, it's showing us our path. It shows us what we want. It shows us where our drive is, it shows us where our purpose and our passion is, you know, when we're jealous of somebody else or we're pissed off with somebody, ultimately, you know, um, I don't know if pissed off is, when we've got judgment about something that somebody's doing, it's showing us what's important to us and it also showing us usually we fucking want what they've got usually, otherwise we wouldn't be fucking pissed off about it. Um, I don't know if, okay, I'm kind of getting the message, you know, around the, we're pissed off. It's like, you know, we're pissed off. Mm, it is, is, you know, we get pissed off with people because we get, you know, triggered in our own stuff because they're saying something that's truth, ultimately. Um, trying to think of an example. I wonder if anyone else gets that. There's a few of you here I see now watching. Um, 
Is there something that you're pissed off with in your life and you can't seem to make sense of or... Because when we get pissed off with somebody where it's like, you know, we want what they've got. It's just simple, really. Does anyone else experience that? Or wondering how people are feeling? I'm going to wait for you to share. Share with me. I, I want some sharing. Sharing going on. But that was the whole fucking thing about keeping it real that I wanted to come on and say, ultimately. I'm waiting for comments too, by the way. Tell me. Tell me what's going on. <laughs> tell me if you're feeling judged by people. Tell me. Because when we feel that judgment and then also when we, you know, have that in ourself of, you know, judging somebody else, it's simply because we want what they've got. When we get pissed off with someone and, you know, okay, so the other thing coming through is when we get pissed off with someone, it's because they're not complying to what we want. Hey, Cass. And when we're, you know, in that space of, you know, some, getting someone to, somebody to comply ultimately is ultimately trying to control something or a situation or a person. And when we're doing that, you know, that, that's not love. That's not that. Yeah, it is, you know, could, we want it, could, could it be we want approval? Definitely that too because that, that stems into what I'm saying here around the, um, you know, like trying to control the situation or control the outcome, you know, like we want approval or we want somebody's attention or we want, we want it to be a different way ultimately. And in that, it's that sense of, yeah, trying to control or trying to, we're pissed off at that person because they're not doing what we want. We're not, they're not complying, which means they're not under our control, which means that we, you know, and anything that we're trying to control simply means that we do not trust the situation at all. Do not trust it. It's ultimately what that is. And when we're coming from control, that's not love. That's attachment. And attachment's not love. If we truly love the person or situation or whatever it is, right, if there's a situation going on and you feel like it's out of your hands, or you get pissed off because they're not doing what you want. It is that approval. And it's also, you know, that, you know, if we don't feel approved or we don't feel loved, if we don't feel loved and we, you know, feel worthless, right? So it's about, you know, getting to that space in yourself where that ultimate acceptance, that ultimate love comes from within. So when we're judging somebody else or when we're pissed off, so if there's more people here, hi. <laughs> Um, let me know if there's a situation in your life where you're pissed off or you feel like, or if you feel like walking away because you've done all you can, right? Then, you know, where is that sense in yourself? You know, like, what is it that you're trying to kind of get out of the situation? Because I started this live stream saying that, you know, if you're judging a person, there's something going on within you, usually because we want what they've got. And if you're judging them and, you know, then that's when the walls come up and you get pissed off because we, they're not complying to how we perceive the situation needs to go. And that in itself is not love. That's, that's ultimate kind of control. And when there's control, there's limitations. And in those limitations, there's not room for growth or freedom because ultimate love is complete acceptance and freedom of the other person being 100% who they are. And in that is like expansion and growth. And when we can allow that into the space, it's got goosebumps. That's where the transformation comes in, yeah? So Benjamin says, what if you're the one being judged? Yes, okay, so... Thank you, Benjamin. So what if you're the one being judged? A couple of things here, because that makes you feel very small. <laughs> um, yep, guilty of control. Yep, 100% me too. Um, so I'm wondering if you can give me, a situ give, me a, um, give me more details about the situation or something like that, um, Benjamin. Because if you're the one being judged, again, you know, it's like, it's that sense of like... Um, 
if you can share more details, that'd be great because I'm just kind of going intuitively here. So if you're the one being judged, it is a sense of, you know, it's twofold, right? Because if you're being judged, if you feel like you're being judged or you're like um, really, um, what's the word, like um, finger pointing, like being blamed for something. So I'm curious if you feel like you're being blamed or you are being blamed or if you feel like you're being judged. Um by a comment that somebody's made because that can kind of come in when we already have a, um, I guess, a low self-esteem or if something's being knocked and knocked and knocked and knocked and then we feel like we're being judged even more because we're already kind of low and at that point um, because the other thing that's coming to mind around that is the um, if we feel like we're being judged, it's like looking at ourselves and going, well, why do I feel that kind of harshness from that person? Why do I, why am I feeling that sense in ourself, right? Because if we feel like we're being judged, it's like this sense of, like ultimately we've been triggered, right? If we feel like we've been judged, we've been, we've been triggered. And that's when the walls will come up and that's when another wall will come up and the kind of, the, it's just walls, right? So when we can drop into that space and say, hey, look, you know, I feel, I feel like this when I hear you say, you know, that sort of scenario, right? Um, oh, thanks, Tabitha. So there's a few other people here talking about um, being judged, like judging other people or um, feeling judged or um, anything like that. I'm wondering if there's situations in your life and waiting for comments to come through. Um, where you feel like you're being judged, hey Nelly, um, or are judged, and I'm curious what that is for you, Benjamin. Um, so if you, you know, if you are the one being judged by people, then, like I said, there's different layers there. But the other thing coming through around that, um, yeah, okay. So thanks for that. I needed that bit more clarity. So the mother of my kids says she's done with our relationship. So there's all these reasons. Yeah, I know what that's like because I'm guilty of doing that in the past. Um, I'm being judged, but you're happy with who you are. So in that sense, you know, like when somebody else is judging you, when somebody else is blaming you, when somebody else has all these reasons going like no, 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 no. Two things, ultimately two core things going on. Um, there's so much stuff in the way of seeing what is kind of really there Um, and the other thing is that is I guess what I was trying to say before is you know when when you are being judged by somebody or whatever somebody says about you doesn't matter if it's judgment or whatever the fuck they say when somebody's pointing the finger and saying this and this and this and this is the problem and this is this and this and this is the problem there's one finger pointing at you and there's three fingers pointing back at them so, and that's when I said there's all this stuff in the way because when somebody is so like, this is going on and this is going on and this is why and I can't do this because this is why and done and blah, blah, blah. Like if you can imagine two balls of energy, like, or, you know, a field of energy around somebody, there's all this stuff like emotions, right? This reason, 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 all sitting in the energy field and that sitting in the energy field is all that they can see right? Yes, they may have been hurt. Yes, they may feel valid and, you know, every single person's reasons for how they are feeling is 100% valid. Whether it, you know, whether you think that it's right or not, for that person, it's 100% valid, right? And when you can come from a place of seeing that that person is just so full of stuff, that ultimately underneath all the stuff, like if you were to pick apart all the stuff, what's left? I'm going to wait for someone to comment, right? And tell me, right? If, if somebody's full of stuff in their energetic field and you pick apart all this stuff, even though what they're saying is valid because it feels right for them, if they, you know, if you pick apart all the stuff, what's left? Tell me, I'm waiting for someone. The core, yeah, what's the core? What's in the core there? Pick out all the reasons. What's underneath all the stuff? What is truly the core? The truth, yeah. What else? What's the truth? What is the truth? Hurts one of the emotions, so pull that out. 
see if I can hold my hand here. When we pick apart all the stuff, all the darkness, all the hurt, all the reasons, what's left? Vulnerability, yes, definitely. What's, what's under vulnerability? What's at the core? There's core wounds, but what's under core wounds? Remember, hurt people hurt people. Even though their feelings are valid for themselves, you, yes, the person, core of being, core of your being, totality, yeah, your spirit, yeah. What else? What is all that? My hand is holding the... It looks so cool, it's fully holding it. When we remove all the stuff, or the hurt, or the emotions, or the validation, light and, what are we made up of? Yeah, your light and, yes, light and love. Yes, yeah, thank you. Thank you. Everything, exactly, right? Um, hey, Frankie. <laughs> Lovely to have you here. We're talking about what's under stuff. Love, yeah, 100%, right? Because ultimately we're beings of light and love, yeah? That's ultimately at a core. If, if the only thing that's real is love and light, and whilst there's all this darkness here, look at this pure analogy. That's why I had to fucking stand here, is it? Didn't know why I had to stand here. So there's all this stuff, right? This darkness, this unconscious stuff sitting there. But this is also sitting there. And this light and love at its core is what it is. Now, Benjamin, I'm not denying. Thanks, Frankie. I'm not denying, like, I guess, oh, you said you feel happy, right? So this is, this is the other thing. Oh, Nelly, sorry, I missed that comment. Yes, I was authentically and pulled someone up for 100% being passive aggressive to me and she immediately blocked me on Facebook. Yeah, there we go. It's the truth there. Oh, there's so many comments I didn't see there. I'm sorry, I'll come back to them in a sec. Um, cause I'm working, talking to Benjamin for the second here. So when you said, and you're happy with who you are. So I'm wondering if there's kind of hurt and pain in there for you too, right? And I, you know, like, you know, it doesn't, we're still human at, at the end of the day, right? And in a sense of like, you know, when somebody is saying hurtful things to you, it takes a lot to fucking hold hurtful things and and there's a fine line between abuse right there's a fine line between holding space and abuse right so and that's for your own internal you know barometer to check in with where's where yeah the thing here is with the all this unconscious stuff and the light when we shift out all the crap right and remove all that the only thing that's left is love now when we can see that and hold that space you know, like what, you know, I'm hearing that your mother of your children has all these reasons and she's done with it, right? Um, happy for you to private message me a bit more about this too, if you like. Um, it's kind of like, you know, I guess how long has it been going on and if you're happy with who you are, you know, like yes, there's kind of no control over what another person feels or does or anything like that. Um, and I guess, I guess I'm wanting more information about, you know, has it happened before, you know, is it just, you know, she's saying she's done now, has she said she's done in the past, all that sort of thing. Um, there's lots of different scenarios and ways it could, you know, kind of shift into there. I guess the thing that I'm saying here is that even though her feelings and reasons for the relationship and her end being done, it doesn't mean that what she's saying is truth, right? If at the core of everything is light and love, yeah, um, everything that's kind of going on for a person is just stuff and especially, you know, like I teach this in my Trusted Intuition course, it's like, you know, if your self-care is low, if your tank's empty, um, depending on what sort of stress has been going on in the past week, in the past month, in the past six months, in the past year, in the past two years, like when you actually kind of take that in consideration and checking in if you've had the adequate support that you need, um, you know, and all that sort of thing and, you know, 
relationships usually come down to a breakdown in communication and um, you know and understanding basically there's a you know communication understanding and care and love kind of encompasses the whole thing about that right and ultimately you know it's kind of like if she's saying she's done and she's got all these reasons well that's great well has she spoken to you about these in the past and it's kind of like you know if she has what actions were taken or not taken you know and ultimately you know I know as a single mother on my own it's fucking tricky um, you know to do everything um, yeah you're so welcome Benjamin because yeah there's so much kind of there that we could go into but ultimately you know like holding someone you know in that space of love and light and kind of seeing them for that when you know there's all these emotions and feelings it's like you know where's the where's the support in and you know like is there responsibility for their part in the relationship because that's a big fucking thing too um i know i know because i you know putting my hand up from experience and you know that i've been that person blaming the other person for all the reasons um that you know i could look for that are wrong when ultimately i never took responsibility for my part in it or my fucking reasons and did something about it just continued to blame the other person and i never did it so i don't know if you've seen um my um my live stream I did oh, a little while ago, Benjamin, on um, single dads I'm talking to you because there's a lot in that as well um, there. But yeah, I'm happy to talk more about that on PM for you. So Tabitha says, I feel I am being judged for putting myself first. Maybe as people and family aren't used to this, Tabitha. Okay, so the other thing with being feeling judged, right, is that especially, especially if we're stepping into new territory about um, one, taking care of yourself, right? Yes, they, you know, when you, I'm going to use that example, Tabitha. So when you start taking care of yourself and put yourself first for a change, um, you've got that. So the judgment that you feel, yes, may well be from them, right? But there's also a judgment about yourself, for doing that because there's guilt for oh well I should be there for them and um, you know and it's like it, because you're now creating a new neural pathway and a new pattern like a new brain a new your new di di family dynamic as well right so when you've got this family dynamic happening for 30 odd years or whatever how old you are um, and then you decide to change that role or dynamic that you play in your family dynamic is going to fucking, you know, it's going to cause the spiderweb strings to go, hang on a sec, that spiderweb string is, what the fuck's going on over here? So people are going to, yes, they're going to be judging. The only thing that you will feel most judged for is when you are not comfortable with your own choices and decisions so yeah there's guilt around kind of stepping away from that there's something else trying to come through what am i saying here okay so it's like being triggered right so if you're feeling triggered by someone it's because something within you needs you know it is you know awakening within you or what have you so when you when you if you feel that judgment within you from those people then then you're judging yourself too, right? So it's kind of like, okay, cool, I'm gonna take care of myself. And then it's like, oh, the guilt kicks in. It's like, oh, I'm not sure I should be doing that. Oh, well, what about that? And how, and then there's another part of you judging, the part of you judging going, oh, well, what are they gonna think about you? And then, oh, and then, and then there's another part of you judging, you're judging, you're judging, right? It's like, how deep do I wanna go? So the thing I'm saying here is that when you're comfortable inside yourself and you can work with the guilt that you're feeling around stepping out of a family role like that, um, then you won't feel the judgment from that person as much. It's just like, you know, when you work on whatever you're being triggered in, in a situation, when you work on that within yourself, you're not as triggered by it from that person or that situation anymore, right? So the same sort of thing about the judgment. So when you're feeling judged, you're usually judging yourself. Um, so I did see comments here before and I'm just going back through. Um, so if anyone else is kind of here, um, we're talking about feeling judged or, um, or what's the other thing? So if you're feeling judged by someone or if you're judging someone or you know what that is. Um, all right, so I just saw Nelly's comment before I briefly, I was in the middle of Benjamin's comment. So yes, I was 
authentic Nelly says yes I was authentic and pulled someone up for hundred percent being passive aggressive and she immediately blocked me on Facebook okay so the other thing when people are judging and you they've got stuff going on okay and it's like it's the same scenario that I just gave to Benjamin before that you know like if if when there's two people and like I said there's imagine bubbles or energy fields around this person and when they're in their stuff meaning emotions, blame, anger, hurt, feelings, whatever the fuck it is, whatever their issue is going on, they've got stuff going on. It's in their energy field, right? So like the scenario of the waters, all this unconscious stuff sitting there, yeah? So when we can, you know, when we are clear in ourselves, and usually when we've just worked through a particular issue in ourselves, or we need to work through it in ourselves, we will see it in somebody else really clearly, right? And when, you know, we won't be able to hold space for them. We won't be able to kind of, you know, say, hey, that's not right or whatever like you did, Nelly. Um, When we call somebody out on their stuff, their defenses will go up when they're not ready to look at it themselves. Yeah. And that's when they'll, you know, defense will go up and they'll blame and they'll go, no, that's you. And they kind of even won't even talk about the situation because their walls have gone up and they were just not even ready to own what you've called them out on so blocking on Facebook or blocking or anything like that um, will kind of go on when somebody's not ready to own their stuff pretty much and it's not that they're wrong or anything like that it's just a, it's a matter of timing you know like for fucking you know I feel so sorry to my ex because for that long I was fucking blaming him and you know he'd call me on my shit and and immediately my walls would go up and I'd be like, no, blah, blah, blah. and I'd be like, you need to do this and you need to go and do that. And you need, like, it's, it wasn't me. I, I wasn't the problem. I never had a fucking issue. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> All right. Nelly says, yeah, yeah, it's exactly that, right? When, some, when you call somebody on their stuff and they're not ready to look at it, their walls will go up and they'll blame you more and they'll get triggered more and there'll be a fucking huge argument. Um, it's simply all that fucking happens, right? Because they're not, they'll block you, they'll hang up, they'll fucking whatever it is, right? Um, make you wrong. Um, making somebody wrong is a pretty big sign of not owning their stuff. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's probably the biggest one, to be honest, because that's big, big blame. It's not me, it's you. You don't fucking deal with this shit. <laughs> it's like, oh, like, you know, it's like, it's okay for somebody else to have an op- opinion and a voice, right? But if that person is in their stuff and, you know, feel it, usually it's like a, when it, it is like that, you know, and they step into judgment, blame and all that, it's a, um, it's a, what's the word? an overpowering sense like they need to be in power they need to be in control they need to they feel what's the word like ultimately they feel inferior and that triggers the superior (laughs) what the fuck is the word um inferior and superior there's a word for it when they're feeling inferior they need to be the higher person in the relationship there's no there's no balance, there's no equal, there's no, um, you know, there's no care and understanding at its core, right? Um, it's just needing to be in control or, you know, and then when we look at that, right, again, deeper, so you've got inferiority, right, triggers, you know, if somebody's feeling less than another person or they're feeling low in themselves, they will get triggered more easily. Their stuff comes up and then blame the other person. And underneath inferiority and not feeling good enough is a need, right? A need that's not been met um, ultimately at its core. So when I said before that relationships are a breakdown in communication um, is ultimately is needs not being met. Yeah, and if unspoken needs sit there, they get covered up and it becomes all this black stuff. And they get buried. And then, you know, it kind of buries further and further and further and we feel worse and worse and worse because our needs are not getting met. But we're kind of not able to speak up for the needs too. Because there's a way to, you know, speak up and have, you know, decent communication in a relationship, Right. So all relationships, the key is fucking, you know, effective communication um, without blame, without all that, yeah? 
Yeah, Nelly says exactly. Yeah, Benjamin, there's some funny shit in there. <laughs> it's the truth, but <laughs> it's the truth, right? Um, so if nobody's got any more questions or want to share anything about any of that, um, I've got Calling In Your Soulmate coming up on the 21st of September, so the early bird's open for that. Um, so it's pretty much all about relationships. Um, you know, calling in your soulmate or deepening your current relationship, taking it to the next level. Um, and it's like, yes, we kind of work with calling in the other person or, you know, awakening the other person, but the ultimate core is the relationship within yourself. Because when you've got this here within yourself, then you can like, you know, hold this light and love here. Yeah. Um, more readily and know what to do with all this darkness and subconscious shit. Yeah. Um, and what to do when it does come up and what to do when you are triggered, right? Because there's certain, you know, things that we can do within to be able to hold space for ourselves, which enables us to see the truth, the love and the light in the other person um, and still hold that. Um, yeah, you're so welcome, Nelly. Thank you. Effective communication, 100%. is like, you know, at its core, that's fucking all it is. Um, it's just unmet needs and then it fucking builds up and builds up and then can't we forget what the fucking point is right um because ultimately underneath is un unmet needs so um in calling in your soulmate we kind of delve into that um the communication within yourself and then you know being able to do that with another person so i'll post the link in the comments um for the early bird because that's open now and we start on the 21st September and there's only three days left to get your half price uh, psychic tarot reading so if you haven't got that already from me a lot of people have but there's three days to get in on that so I'll post the link in the comments for that too so um, if you've got any if you're watching the replay for this and you you know resonate or have any comments please comment and I'll come back and check in on that because it's really important to me um, especially if you're feeling judged or you know judgment yourself you know all this sort of thing um, so let's stay in this love and light and be able to know that this counteracts all of that when we can stay here and in our heart. So remember to keep it really real. If this resonates with you and you think somebody would um, appreciate it or help them, then um, please share this as well. Um, Nelly, I don't have any cards with me um right now but for you the, as soon as you said that um the liquid crystal cards came to mind the how light spiritual beginning um and i know i pulled that yesterday and i was almost not going to say it because i'm like i just fucking pulled that yesterday on my stream but the, as soon as you said it that's just what came to mind so um maybe you can google because i'm i without my book here i'm not 100 percent on the liquid crystals um but you know that how light and spiritual beginning is that kind of new beginning and um I have a feeling it's something to do, I don't know if it's about the light and the darkness because that's black coral, but it's something to do with that too. So I'm going to, when I get home, I'm going to check that in the book too. But if you Google how light liquid crystals, it'll come up with the negative and positive um, traits for that too. So how light for you, Nelly, is what I'm getting. Um, but knowing your situation in your past too, spiritual beginning is pretty um, relevant coming out of that darkness. So um, yeah, so that's your card <laughs> for you today. So, all right, thanks um, everybody for joining me live. Um, yeah, keep it really real, everybody. Lots of love, namaste.